and restart at the 41st annual Tiger Grizz invite at Ravston Stadium. This is the girls 4x800 meter relay finals. A good start from the gun coming to the first transfer. Idaho Falls with a decent lead heading into the second leg, approximately three seconds. Then on the second transfer, it's the Tigers still out front along with Shelly and Madison coming in at one, two, three. On the third handoff, Idaho Falls way out front. Shelly, well, the Russets, they're just trying to keep pace. Down the stretch, here's anchor Taylor Weatherby for Idaho Falls, nearly lapping Twin Falls. Tigers win the 4x800 relay with a time of 9 minutes, 59.48 seconds. Madison places second with Shelly in third. Let's go to the boys' 4x800 relay. Another good start. And this is still before the rain started to come in at Raston Stadium. And at the first handoff, Idaho Falls has a little problem. The Tigers almost dropped the baton. Madison, Century, Hillcrest all right there in the mix. When we come around for the second handoff, it's Madison well in front, taking over the lead, followed by IF and the Knights of Hillcrest. We're going to go two laps later. The Bobcats building up the distance between them. Idaho Falls, Hillcrest coming through in second and third. And down the stretch, Tigers have closed the gap, but John Stutz for the Bobcats gets across the finish line to give Madison the win in eight minutes, 11.28 seconds. Let's get to the field events. And this is uh, about when the rain started to come in. Some girls struggled to clear four feet, 10 inches, but Snake River Scout Baldwin gets up and over to move to five feet on the high jump. Then it's Jada Johnson from Skyline, 4'10", no problem. She moved on to five feet as well. Madison's Remy McOrder, she gets in on the action as well, up and over to clear the bar. Then, how about Tyler Clark from Skyline? She's going to Utah State to play basketball. The high jump, well, helping her work on those hops, she clears 4'10" as well. And now the rains have really come in hard. These are the boys 110 meter hurdles. They tried to get these in as fast as they could but it was coming down hard. This is the second of four heats and it's Tyler Stevens from Twin Falls just edging out Kimball Whitman from Madison. Hurdles on a slick track can be dangerous but they run on. Heat number three. Just five hurdlers at the end. It's going to be Hillcrest. Jacob Sorensen. He's just going to beat out Oscar Clausen from Idaho Falls for the victory in the heat. And that's when they halted action at the Tiger Grizz.